Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and back for another Foodie Friday recipe video. Today I have not one, but four crock pot recipes for you guys for my special Crocktober video. Um, I am sharing with you guys four quick, easy, a dump and go crock pot meals because you know, as a working mom, I need things that are quick and easy. So let's go ahead and jump into the first recipe. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like, I found my purpose. Um. We're gonna start off today with some chicken tacos in a lettuce wrap. So as you guys know, I am low carb. So all these meals are going to be low carb crock pot recipes, which are awesome. So on these chicken tacos, we're just gonna start by putting four chicken breasts in the bottom of a crock pot. And then we are going to add some chicken taco seasoning. Some chili powder. Some garlic powder. And some cumin. I'm then going to take about a half of a cup of water and I'm going to add in some of this chicken better than bouillon stuff. I'm going to mix that up. It wasn't mixing very well so I did heat the water up for about 30 seconds then finish mixing it and pour it in over the chicken breast. Then you're gonna wanna set your crock pot to cook on low for seven hours. When it's done cooking, it should fall apart very easily. So I just took a fork, a couple of forks, and shredded the chicken completely, and then I left it sitting in the juices until it was we were ready to eat, which it, I left it for about 30 minutes until we were all ready to eat. You can serve this with all of your favorite taco toppings. You can serve it in a tortilla or lettuce wraps like I did, but we had refried beans, avocado, sour cream, cheese, and all that goodness with it. And they were so, so good. The whole family loved them, and especially my son. Next up, we are making this low carb chili. Chili is a hard one because most chilies usually have beans, but this low carb version has no beans in it, just a whole lot of hamburger meat. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need about two and a half pounds of ground beef. You are going to need a can of tomato paste, two cans of diced tomatoes, a can of green chili, and then you're going to need some cumin, some chili powder, some Worcestershire sauce, some a bay leaf, and some oregano leaves. And then of course, your crock pot. So I am just starting this recipe off by browning the hamburger meat. This is actually something that I did when I meal prepped at the beginning of the week. So that's a good way if you don't want to have to do it at the time when you're starting the crock pot, you can do this ahead of time and stick it in your freezer or your fridge and then just pull it out to put it in the crock pot. So you will see that I browned this up and then I stuck it in some Tupperware and stuck it in the fridge until it was time to use it. So now it is the morning of, and I'm getting ready to throw all this in the crock pot. My family doesn't like large chunks of tomatoes or chilies, so I am just gonna quickly put these in a food, food processor and blend them all up so it's all really like smooth, more like a tomato sauce than like chunks of tomatoes, because that's just how my family likes it. If you like the chunks of tomato, you guys feel free to completely skip this step. I'm just doing this for my picky family. Now we're gonna get everything dumped into the crock pot so we can let it sit and cook all day. So as you can see, this hammer meat is that just that cold hammer meat that I had in the fridge. I'm just pouring all that in the crock pot and kind of breaking it up a little bit since it was stuck together. And then we're gonna pour all the tomatoes that I just blended up. So the tomatoes and the green chilies all get thrown in as well as everything else. So we are gonna do the six ounce can of tomato paste, 
we are gonna do a fourth of a cup of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, one tablespoon of dried oregano, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, some salt, some pepper, and a bay leaf at the end. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I do post new foodie videos every Friday, usually a fun new recipe. If you like this video, also make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It's a really easy and effective way that you can help me out and help my channel grow. And then we're going to set this to cook on low for eight hours. Once it's done, you want to make sure and remove the bay leaf from it and then give it a good stir before you serve it. I love to serve chili with sour cream and cheese. And if you weren't doing low carb, you could also serve it with crackers. This is something even my toddler, who is one and a half years old, loved for, di for dinner. Chili is a favorite around our house and it is so perfect for this cooler weather that we're starting to get. Next up is this Italian chicken. Italian chicken is one of my family's favorite dinners. So I'm of course starting with my crock pot liner, like I always do, it makes cleanup so much easier. And then I'm gonna take some of this Italian dressing mix and I'm gonna pour just about half of this package on the bottom of my crock pot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay my chicken breast um, all along the bottom of the crock pot. I think I had about four chicken breasts for this recipe. And then I poured about a fourth of a cup of water in just to help with moisture. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of the packet that I had already opened and as well as an entire other packet of Italian dressing mix on top of the chickens. I'm then also going to cut up about four tablespoons or so of butter um, and put that all on top of the chicken. And then I also threw some red, crushed red peppers on there which are totally optional. My family just likes a little kick. <laughs> but the more butter on this, the better. And then we're gonna cook this on low for four hours. We love Italian chicken in my house and this way is so easy to just throw it in a crock pot on like a Sunday or Saturday morning and have it ready for like a late lunch, early dinner. So good. I also make a version of this in the oven that I love that takes about an hour to cook. It's like a one pan meal. I'll leave the recipe to that linked down below as well as in the iCarts because I've done a video on that before. And when I do that, I usually make it with like carrots and green beans with Italian seasoning on it as well. So, so yummy. Last but not least, we have this easy keto broccoli cheese soup. For this recipe, you are going to need Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, a couple tablespoons of butter, five cups of broccoli, I'm just using one head of broccoli, some chicken broth, eight ounces of cream cheese, a dash of thyme, and a whole lot of cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna start off by cutting up the broccoli. You wanna make sure you cut the broccoli up pretty in this pretty small pieces. I'm actually in it, gonna put all my broccoli in a food processor and blend it up to be more like kind of riced broccoli because as I've mentioned before, my family does not like large chunks of vegetables, just like we don't like large chunks of tomatoes. We really don't like large chunks of broccoli and things like that as well. So I'm just gonna kind of rice all this up so it's really, really like fine and thin and little pieces um, before I put it in. But you can totally skip that if you like larger chunks of broccoli and just chop it up pretty finely. It's our way we 
I'm 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do. Yeah. No, nothing's complicated. Next, I'm going to take eight ounces of softened cream cheese and mix it with two tablespoons of softened butter. If you forget to mix or make your soft like I did mine, let it sit out. You can microwave this for about 15 seconds at a time until it gets soft enough to mix. I'm then going to pour in a little bit of my heated chicken broth. You do want to heat your chicken broth up a little bit in the microwave and that will help melt the cream cheese as well as the butter. And then you are going to want to pour the rest of the chicken broth as well as two cups of water, the heavy whipping cream, you need one cup heavy whipping cream, and the rest of the cream cheese and butter mixture into the crock pot. You are then going to want to take a whisk and make sure you mix all of that really well. Next up, we are going to add half of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And you know, in my family, we like cheese. So I added a little bit more, a little bit extra there. And then you're going to want to take your thyme and you're going to add just a dash of thyme. And then you're going to go ahead and take your cut up broccoli or your riced broccoli in my case and pour all that in there too and then just give it a good mix and make sure everything is mixed quite well. And then you're going to want to cook it on low for three hours. Once it's cooked for three hours, you are going to go ahead and open it up, give it a good store, stir, and then you're going to add two and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Make sure you stir it until the cheese starts to melt a little bit. And then I left it on warm for about another hour or so, just to kind of let the cheeses all melt together. And this is what it looked like when it was done. Super duper cheesy and really, really yummy. My one and a half toddler absolutely loved this. He ate it for dinner almost every night for like a week. I was really surprised at how much he loved the soup. He had never really had like a soup before, but he devoured this and he was actually pretty good at eating it without making a horrid mess. I mean, of course he made a little bit of a mess, but it was pretty good. And that is it you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.